We interrupt our program with a special bulletin. An unidentified object has been spotted in orbit around the Earth. Greetings, invaders. My name is Scott. This is Book Invasion. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. All that good stuff. Today we're going to be talking about The Warehouse by Rob Hart. The Warehouse is a cautionary futuristic tale about a super mega company that has essentially eliminated all need for other stores and has capitalized on technology to accumulate all of the things you'll ever need into a giant warehouse. The employees stretch into I think the, the millions or so. They have on-campus living for all of the employees. They have different roles from the runners to security to all this and that. And it's, I think it's a very compelling read because its ideas are not very far-reaching into the future. They're things that could, have, could be happening in the next five years or so uh, to, to some extent. So let me get into the synopsis so you have some idea what's going on. Cloud isn't just a place to work, it's a place to live. And when you're here, you'll never want to leave. Paxton never thought he'd be working for Cloud, the giant tech company that's eaten much of the American economy, much less that he'd be moving into one of the company's sprawling live-work facilities. But compared to what's left outside, Cloud's bland chain store life of gleaming entertainment halls, open plan offices, and vast warehouses, well, it doesn't seem so bad. It's more than anyone else is offering. Zinnia thought she'd never be infiltrating Cloud, but now she's undercover, inside walls, risking it all to ferret out the company's darkest secrets. And Paxton, with his ordinary little hopes and fears, he just might make the perfect pawn if she can bear to sacrifice him. Together, they'll learn just how far the company will go to make the world a better place. Set in the confines of a corporate panopticon that's at once brilliantly imagined and terrifyingly real, the Warehouse is a near-future thriller about what happens when Big Brother meets Big Business and who will pay the ultimate price. Now, this book, upon its release, was optioned for films by Ron Howard. So, we all know kind of what option means. It may come to fruition, it may not. But, it seems like a good story. It seems like it's easily uh, adaptable to film. There's not very many crazy ideas. Uh, there's drone delivering packages, which we have, and there's giant warehouses of manufacturing. Uh, which we have. Amazon. Got it. So this book was, um, I felt this book was really engaging. I listened to the audio of the book, which was fantastically narrated. Um, if you want to have a free audiobook of this, go to audibletrial.com slash bookinvasion to get your free audible trial, trial and get a free credit to try it on audio. You might like it. Check it out. Anyway, uh, the audio of this was really well done. It starts off, um, Kind of, we learn Paxton's story. Uh, we also learn the story of the company. So in the beginning and throughout the, the book are interspersed chapters of the CEO, the owner, the creator of this company writing a blog because he's diagnosed with a, a fatal illness. So he's writing this kind of blog uh, out into the world, I assume on the company's page somewhere, about how the company came to be, what his thought process is, and why he's now traveling to these um, cloud facilities, the, the mother cloud facilities, I suppose, and touring them um, to wave hi to all his employees before he essentially leaves the company and leaves the planet. And, and the media is all a flurry on who the successor is, who's going to take over when he leaves, this giant mega corporation that's essentially crushed the American economy and now is the, you know, 90% of it. all the goods and services come from this company and everything else out there is just a wasteland of empty shopping malls and strip malls and whatever. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. So we're getting the understanding of, of the company and what its roles are, how some of the processes and policies came to be throughout the company by this this old man's story um, from him delivering papers to then eventually delivering groceries to the elderly people and then starting a business out of out of something like that. And he has a good friend that, that had started that with him, um, like his sidekick, and he, the, all, obviously the, the media is all a flurry on that he's going to be the successor. Things, you know, pan out and stuff happens, obviously. But 
we have Paxton in, in the mix here, and Paxton is trying to get a job at Cloud because his company went under due to Cloud manufacturing the same thing that his smaller company did, but, but cheaper, and essentially shut him out of the picture. His business collapsed. He's trying to work for this company, essentially some type of, of revenge. And then there's Zinnia, who's also scheming and trying to fool the system to get a job at the company. And when you're hired in the company based on your application responses and algorithms and facial expressions and so on and so forth while you're taking the application quiz, you're then assigned a role. Each role has a different color shirt. There's security, there's the runners, there's IT, there's whatever else. Um, and so Zinnia is trying to go into one avenue because she's been hired to infiltrate the company and find out its secrets, and she wants to get into the uh, into security so she can kind of get into the computer systems and whatnot. And then uh, Paxton is trying to get into the company as uh, a runner to just be able to deliver goods and things. And I'm not really sure what his angle was to get in there, but as they get hired, they live on the facility grounds. They live in in these dorms so to speak, and then they just go walk to wherever to work. So so throughout the book, there's espionage, there's deception, there's kind of a bit of action going on about these two people, and, you know, are they going to get figured out by the things? Uh, every, every person at the company needs to wear a wristband, which tracks your location, your heart rate, your DNA, essentially, your fingerprints, and it opens doors based on your security privileges. And so, throughout this book, there's there's trying there's different goals between each character. Zinni has one, Paxton has another. They essentially meet and kind of co-mingle a little bit, but they're also trying to get into their their own accomplishments without interfering with the other. So I really enjoyed the book. I really enjoyed the espionage, the 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 background of the story, and how the company is doing the best for for the consumer and how that thought process kind of essentially destroyed the economy. Uh, when good intentions obviously go a little bit too far, and when technology goes a little bit too far, how does that play in a world where this giant company lives? So I thought this book was really good. It, it would pa pair really well with The Circle by Dave Eggers, if you've read the book or if you've seen the movie with uh, Emma Watson and Tom Hanks. That that story is also about a, a mega corp called the Circle, where they're putting cameras on everywhere, and people can like and social media scores and upload videos. And then it goes a little bit too far, where people are being transparent and having to put cameras on them 24/7, so on and so forth. This is kind of similar to that. It plays on that, but it's more based on the company and how they're doing what they do, and secrets are uncovered backstabbing occurs and the ending of the book I thought was was fairly satisfying that things ha had come to pass and, and people got there too. Um, it's a little bit I, I felt like it wrapped up well I felt like the ending wasn't as catastrophic as, as it was intended to be um, but I like the story that's The Warehouse by Rob Hart I would recommend you check it out check it out on audio um, if you also like that story and stories about those megacorps, check out The Circle by Dave, Dave Eckers. It's also one of those stories where it gives you a glimpse. It's a bit of a cautionary tale about how companies would take technology a little bit too far. And I feel like some companies are just taking that as, as a guidebook and just going going with it. You know, it's, it's science fiction that becomes a reality um, 10 or 15 years down the road. So check it out. The Warehouse by Rob Hart. I enjoyed it. Go out. Let me know what you think, if you've read it, and like and subscribe.